now that our little orientation tour is over, let's get started. Okay, I, again, am Lori Gerard, and the first thing I want to do is thank you all for coming. John Gray, I am so thrilled that you're taking time out from that TV show of yours to do some ghost hunting here with us. I mean, Ghost Chasers is like the best cable show ever. Right now, I'm taking time-lapse electromagnetic readings and recording background noise. This was Camille's private car. And Sherlina Purcell. I cannot tell you how much I adore those romance novels you write. Your characters just seem so real. And all that stuff you know about the Old West? You are just awesome! What else do you know about Jake Hurley? You know, the man who originally owned this train? Wealthy, imaginative, adventurous, stubborn, egocentric, and most importantly, he was smitten at the age of 35 by a young French woman named Camille Boulet, who died about a year after they were married. And Tino Balducci, only the most famous police detective in the country. Hey, Nancy, right? Amateur detective, huh? Never thought about becoming a real detective? You know, like me. And then there's Frank and Joe Hardy. They're amateur detectives. My dad and their dad are old friends. Hey, Nance. Where have you two been? I followed Tino Balducci. And I went after John Gray. He went straight to the room in the car that used to be Camille's and didn't come out again. I could hear all these weird noises coming from inside. Did you talk to him? I was just about to go in, but the next thing I know, Joe's got my arm in a vice grip and is dragging me back here, babbling about how Balducci's our guy. And you must be the other amateur detective, their friend? Natalie? Nancy. Nancy Drew? Whatever. All right. I'll bet you're wondering where we're going. Well, we're going to Copper Gorge, Colorado. Why? To solve the mystery of what happened to Jake Hurley, the man who originally owned this train. Because, see... One day in 1903, his train, this train, was found in a place called Blue Moon Canyon, which was out in the middle of the Nevada desert. Only the engineer was on board, and he was dead. As for Jake Hurley, he had disappeared from the face of the earth. Oh, and two more things. Before he disappeared, Jake was rumored to have found the richest gold mine in the world. And the train he owned? This train? His wife Camille died on it while they were going to the gold fields. It was rumored to be haunted. <laughs> She's gone. Oh my gosh. What in the world? Hey, what's going on? 